me a minute. Where do you think she's going? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. I just thought you might would have known. Hi, how are you? Yes, I'm bad. Um, My kids broke my TV, and they won't tell me which one did it, so I need someone to come and help me. Sorry, ma'am. Um, I don't know how to help you there. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. So, what if you brought over a device that made them think that they were going to take a lie detector test? Yes, ma'am. Uh, that'll work. Uh, I can do that. And we can tell them that if they come clean, then nobody will get in trouble. But if they keep sticking to their lie and lie detectors show who the liar is, then I'm going to file some charges for them destroying property. Your kids destroyed somebody's property? Oh, yeah. That ain't no big deal. Um, They just spray painted the teacher's house because she decided to give everybody their report card. Mmm. Okay, I see. We'll be over there with the equipment in an hour, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Um, see you soon. Alex and Casey, come here! Yes, ma'am? Did you call us to tell us we're getting a puppy? No. Since both of y'all left something out of y'all little stories about who broke my TV, the police is on their way, and they bring in a lie detector machine. Lie detector? Yes. And I'm giving them permission to hook both of y'all up to it. Hey, you can't do that. I can and I did. Whoever did it is in big trouble. But mommy. No, no, I gave both of y'all the opportunity to tell me the truth. But it seems like neither one of y'all know what that is. But I do know. I already told you. Yeah. I don't care. They're going to be here in a little bit. Y'all go back in that living room and do whatever y'all was doing. <laughs> See, she really thinks we're going to believe that. She would never hook her kids up to a lie detector test. Just don't, Casey, don't believe her. You really think I'm believing her? I was just acting. I don't believe mommy for one second. There is no way in the world a police officer is going to come to our house and test us two kids on a lie detector test. Yeah, you're right. Wait! Do you even think that's legal for kids anyway? No, that's what I'm saying. She's just trying to scare us by lying to us. You know, that's probably where we get it from when she's telling us to tell people that she's not here. She's really here because she's telling us to say she's not here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And what about all the time when those people call asking her to pay her bill? She always talk about something. I don't have the money. I don't have the money. But then she ends up going shopping with her friends and she never brings us. We always got to stay here. Casey, that's where we get it from. Yeah. <laughs> You're making your sister seem like a bad person. And Casey, you making your brother seem like a bad person. I just wish that y'all two would answer my question with the truth instead of taking me through all of this. But mom! Now, remember, if you can do the crime, you better be ready to do the time. The time? I'm not ready to do the time. Oh, there they go. The actually came! Mm, don't be scared now. Come on. Thank you for coming. Hello, Hello ma'am. All right, well, y'all come on in. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Look at his mustache. <laughs> I know, it's so cute. What is this you are putting your mother through? <gasps> you do something wrong or mess up, be a big enough person to say that you did something that wasn't cool. If you have to suffer the consequences, then so be it. You must think about the consequences of your actions before you do something wrong or bad. After you consider the consequences and you find out if it's not good or if it's good, then you don't do it. Uh, what even is a consequence? I don't know. I think he might have said it wrong. I think he's talking about the state Connecticut. I want to let you two in on a little secret. In my line of work, we usually always catch the bad guy. Oh, uh, Mr. Puny Mustache Man. It's not really a secret if you tell it to somebody. Right. And I'm a girl, not a boy. So I can't be a bad guy. Okay, Missy, well, I work with some very smart people who know how to figure all this stuff out. Yeah, so if you want to come clean, now's the time to do so. Because once they hook y'all up to that machine and they start that little process, they can't stop. They can't stop! Nope. Oh, uh, Mom, question, um, does it hurt? No, it won't hurt at all. So, how does this machine work exactly? Because I don't think it can really detect if I am telling a story. I think you're trying to scare the gummy bears out of me. 
This is my polygraph technician, Miss Lolly. Lolly? Like lollipop? <laughs> Cassie, did you hear that? Yes, Alex, I heard you. It was whack. Now, I will have Miss Lolly over here explain how the machine works. Go ahead, Miss Lolly. <clears throat> Hello, kids. The lie detector test is the most popular test used in the United States. The polygraph test with this machine right here measures your physiological features, such as your heart rate, blood pressure, perspiration, respiration, and skin conductivity. Say what? It measures what? The machine measures your physiological features, such as your blood pressure, heart rate, perspiration, respiration, and skin conductivity. <laughs> yeah, sound like a bunch of snitching if you ask me. No, Casey, that this sounds like some creepy stuff to me. And I don't want anything hooked up to my body checking my skin connection. Skin activity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with my brother on that one. That's creepy. So to simplify it, it measures the changes of a person's body as they respond to a question or statement. Ma'am, you are correct. What is this language you people are speaking? I don't know, Casey, and I really don't want to find out. Well, let's get started. So either y'all two is gonna tell me who broke my TV, or they gonna hook y'all up behind us to that little lie detector test, and they gonna tell me who did it. End of story. Oh, uh, when did it even start? <laughs> you got her, Alex. Oh yeah, Alex, get your behind in that chair. You're going first. No, wait, wait, but mommy, it wasn't me. I, I promise, I didn't do it, right, Casey? Uh, okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you what happened. And it better be the truth, or we're gonna do that little test. So we'll. Yes, I think that's what they're saying. Thank you, sir. Now, since both of y'all didn't tell me the truth the first time I asked y'all, this is what I want y'all to do. 